Now, a very important type of superposition occurs when we have two very similar or identical waves that are overlapping. So we can see, for example, that wave one and wave two have the same wavelength and about the same amplitude. So what will happen when these two waves start overlapping and become superimposed? Well, as I'm sure you can guess, we'll get a wave that looks very similar, but with more amplitude. So this is called constructive interference. We get constructive interference when two waves match up exactly, so they're in phase. So the new wave's amplitude will be much bigger than the, either of the original wave's amplitude. So it means that we're creating a new wave that is much bigger, hence constructive interference. But you might have noticed by now that if we move this wave just a little bit across, then it will still technically be the same wave, but the waves will add together in a very different way. Areas of constructive interference tend to follow straight lines moving away from the source. Draw the lines of constructive interference in this wavefront diagram. Now remember, constructive interference occurs when two crests or two troughs of different waves meet up. In a wavefront diagram, the lines represent the crests moving away. So the green lines are the crests moving away from A, and the yellow lines are the crests moving away from B. When these two crests overlap, we'll get constructive interference. So all we need to do is find a line of little crosses where the crest of one source of waves crosses over with the crest of the other source of waves. So we can see little crosses all through this diagram. This yellow line, for example, crosses over this green line, right? We can see that this is going to keep happening all the way out. What the question is asking us to do is draw a line through these crosses. And in fact, we'll get a straight line that will point to somewhere in between the two sources. So once we draw in a couple, our diagram might look a little bit like this. We can see that these little blue lines are joining up crosses where constructive interference occurs between the two sources. Directly in between these lines of constructive interference, we in fact get lines of destructive interference where the amplitude of the wave is very low.